Welcome. In front of me is a Lenovo Tab M8, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification for this phone or tablet. Now, you can see that the tablet I have right here is locked. It's telling me to verify the previously used pattern, and obviously you can also do it through Google account. But assuming we don't know either of those, I'm going to show you how we can just completely bypass this, ignore it, and then remove it on top of it. So to get started, uh, number one, you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So if you're going from the beginning of the setup, which is right here, uh, you just want to progress through it till you get to this page right here. So connect to your network, which as you can see, I have already done. And then you want to uh, select add new network, or not add new network, uh, or is it? Yeah, there we go. So a new network and it will bring up a keyboard. So from here, uh, click on this microphone, select deny, click on it once more and again, deny. As you can see now, it's changed to not like being fully uh, filled. It's just an outline. So click on it again and select allow. This will then take us to app info. So from here, we will now navigate to let me just quickly check permissions and we're going to tap on the search bar and we're going to search for settings okay, scrolling all the way down uh, you'll actually see the applications. So we're looking for, I believe, yep, this one right here. So you will see an open option, so select it. And in here, we're going to start off by going into the apps and notifications. And then you want to select app info. Tap on the three dots and select show system. And we're going to now scroll down to Google Play services. Call Play Services right over here. And you want to select Disable, Disable up, and First Stop, and OK. Now, once you have disabled it, you're going to hold the power button. And you're going to select Restart. OK, so now you just flip it over. Oh, there we go. So once the device boots back up, we will simply repeat everything that we have done uh, to get to the Google Play services page. Now I'll be going through it a little bit quicker this time around without actually telling you uh, everything like I did the first time around. So if you get lost or if you're struggling, uh, just go back to the beginning of the video and follow through it till you get to the uh, Google, uh, Google Play services page, at which point you can pick up from here. So, actually, I need to back out. Now, one thing that we will uh, see right here is once it starts looking for updates, it should show us. Well, not here. My bad. We need to back out. Come on. There we go. So, here you should see a setup offline option. If that is the case, that's great. Now, as you see, uh, once you connect to the Wi-Fi page, uh, you do kind of need to, uh, as you've seen, you select this, it skips the Wi-Fi page. So you want to go back and this will then give you the uh, Wi-Fi page. So again, from here, just select your network.
once you are on the page right here, you're gonna simply select enable. And once it's enabled, uh, you want to now start going back. And here, we're gonna select Setup Offline. Continue. And right now, we just skip the verification process. I'm gonna select Not Now, skip anyway. Finish device setup. And we're now on the home screen. Now, one last thing that you want to do is perform a reset of the device through settings once you have access to your home screen. So to do so, simply open up your settings, scroll all the way down to system, and scroll down to reset options, delete all data, erase all data, and press on that once again. Once you do, uh, the device will begin a factory reset, which is fully automatic. Once it's finished, you are going to be taken back to the setup of your device. From there, you can set up your tablet however you want. It will be fully unlocked at that point, so you can do whatever you want. Now, I'm not going to go through this on the video, just so I don't waste your time. But if you're really interested in seeing me go through this, I will be doing just a simple reset through settings as a separate video. Uh, right after this one so you can just search for this device and reset settings or through settings and you'll basically see me continuing but anyway with this being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching